that for the record, sir. Yesterday, former Penn State President Van Stanger was arraigned and released on bail of $125,000 on charges he lied and concealed allegations involving former coach Jerry Sandusky. Eric Schultz and Tim Curley face similar charges. What does this tell us? It tells us that individuals should be held responsible for looking the other way. It is my understanding that the Cars for Cash Kangaroo Committee is yet to meet. This, of course, is the committee suggested by former police chief Bill Barrett. His wife worked in City Hall. It is comprised of three people who, who report directly to Layton and were, in fact, selected by Layton. Mr. Barrett's not here, but if he was, I'd say I promise you, uh, Mr. Barrett, as a former chief of police and officer of the law, I'm going to be very aggressive in reporting your crooked and insulting recommendations regarding this matter. You acted in complete defiance to the other police chief on this council and any right-minded citizen. Those of you who have dragged your feet or lie about the auto theft ring will eventually face similar charges. Charges may include cover-up, concealment, three different counts of conspiracy, malfeasance, failure to report a crime, and aiding and abetting. As chairman, I brought, or, as the acting chairman, I've already filed these charges against Mike Merritt. Mr. Merritt has a choice. He can either stand for justice or a cover-up. By doing absolutely nothing, he has chosen to cover up. I can easily add names to the complaint. This includes city workers as well. There is nothing to hide. Based on record keeping for seven years, Lag has broken multiple state laws, IRS laws, and his contract. Elected officials and city representatives have a duty to do the right thing. As part of the city charter, Mr. Merritt has an open-ended invitation to, do, to conduct any investigation that he wants. This could include working in concert with the DA or state police regarding laws we already know have been broken. Mr. Merritt, would you be interested in working with me in the proper regulatory body regarding what we know about LAD telling? Yeah. Just to just counsel as well. Okay, well, <clears throat> is anybody willing to work with me? George? No? Cover up, huh? All right. We have to wait till our committee meets to find out the outcome of that before we can do anything else. It's premature to start anything with that now. Okay, we'll, I'll, 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 we'll come in on that one. I'll, I'll tell you this. You, you, you check me if it's over. I have so much evidence, it's unbelievable. And for everybody that drives their feet, I swear to God, I'm going to report you. And, you know, Chivarella could have taken 86 months. Instead, he fought and held out, and he got 28 years. Let him be an example to you all. And I never had five people as you asked. Well, I see it here. Here, here you go. You need to talk to me. I see you. Three. There you go. Mr. Robbins, are you done? Take a look at it. Five years ago. Death. Forged in the fraud. Okay? <clears throat> You're a joke. Did you waste this council's what time. What is the way? Hey, you get some horror here. Project. That's enough. And you're looking for it. So why isn't he taken out? Is that a crack pipe? I don't know. He should be taken out. Thank you, Mr. Robbins. Uh, just and just a comment, a uh, public comment. Uh, I did, in fact, go ahead and yeah. enter all the receipts I had and all the police incident reports I had. And that has been forwarded on to our committee. Uh, unfortunately, with the budget looming so large, I'm sure the administration has put the budget in front of this committee and justifiably so, but it will be looked at. Okay, thank you.